fabulous. Why are you being hateful? She looks fabulous too. Why you gotta be a hater, Katniss? Oh, Kat, you look beautiful. Don't let her talk to you like that. Hey, look, he's so happy. Look at your outfit. Oh, you look so beautiful. Hey. <laughs> you don't look thrilled. I thought you would be excited about your new sweater. Oh, we got happy with it. Oh, he likes her sweater. Her looks beautiful in her nose. It. Katniss. I'm surprised I don't need stitches. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. And he and I are cuddling. While the kids are in the living room fighting. And I'm pretending that I don't hear it. <laughs> yep. I don't hear it. So the Rule King opened... Um, just right down the road from here, literally less than three miles away from my house. And I've never walked in the door. Um, because I knew that we were going to move and I wouldn't have animals anymore. Just the idea of knowing that I'm going to go look at rabbits I can't have and chickens I can't buy and baby chicks that I can't raise just gives me hives <laughs> because I want to buy them so bad and I want my farm so bad. So I've just avoided going because it's been incredibly sad to even think about. But alas, my mother has decided that she needs something from that store and I've never been in it. So I might as well just suck it up and go. Um, it's just sad. It's just sad. I think I'm going to go in there and be sad. But I'm going to try to go in with a positive attitude and not be sad. <laughs> So we'll see. But that is what we're doing. We're going to go lay in the tent a bed and then we are going to go to Royal King and Rule King. People make fun of how I say, I can't help it. I'm hillbilly. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm a hillbilly. So that's what we're doing. did not get chickens I refrained but another dealer hit me up on the way out the door and I may have bought five boxes John's gonna kill me because we are meal prepping and nobody's allowed to eat them so now we're gonna have Girl Scout cookies in the house that nobody can or at least me and him can eat the kids on the other hand are excited <laughs> So, Alexis, Mara's little uh, birthday buddy, is having her birthday party today. She had to do it late for multiple reasons. And Mara doesn't have a bathing suit that fits her good because they're having a swimming party. It's an indoor swimming pool. So, Alexis's mama, John's cousin Samantha, just came and got Lexi and Mara and they headed off. And I'm here at Walmart trying to pick up. Mara a bathing suit and Solomon some swim trunks because Solomon is way outgrown his swimsuit. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go pick up the kids and we're going to a birthday party. A unicorn swimming party. Hello, Libby. the Monday morning after daylight savings time. Who ordered this? They should be fired. 
I'm calling the police. car and we're waiting on Mama to get out of the tanning bed. We've been shopping around for her to get a um, pocketbook that has a concealed carry for her pistol. And while I was waiting, I thought, you know what, I'm going to call the apartments. Because we have um, such a large family and we need the three bedroom, I did not know this, but when you look at their online, it shows, you know, two bedrooms are like together apartments but three bedrooms are actually like these little townhouses I did not know that um so when as I was looking at it I was like oh wait that that's different so I called them and they said it'll be another month to six weeks just dependent upon the weather and how everything's going as to how quickly the renovations will be done and we can move in but since we're in townhouses that have little yards I asked them can we uh put in a vegetable garden and yeah. I was shocked and surprised that they said yes. Now if I can just talk them into some chickens, we'll be fine. So it is Tuesday morning and we are heading to the grocery store super, super early. Um, it is 6.45, kids just got on the bus. We're heading out the door because Mamo has to be somewhere early today. Yay. And a couple of days ago, we are no longer able to drive the SUV right now, in which I'm in it, but and you got your tablet, yeah, because my windshield wipers are no longer working, so I have to go fix that. And we still don't have heat in this thing, but I also don't have $700 to fix it right now, so we'll at least get the windshield wipers going. <laughs> fun, fun! This a while back, and I'm so excited because I love punny jokes. I love puns. I think they're funny. And so when I saw this shirt, I was like, I have to do this. So Amanda at the Fundamental Home and Tangi from Freedom Homestead, they have frugal family food and they started a campaign with t-shirts and it says, I eat frugal because I can. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I think that is so hilarious. I could not wait. I ordered this cute blue color. I love this color. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I will actually link the, um, place you can get this in the description below. I think this shirt may actually be over, but they have several more again with the punny jokes. I love Ladies, it. Ladies, heed my voice. The myth is true. It's real. You really can get to the bottom of the laundry basket. It can be empty for more than 15 minutes. At least till the kids get home from school. But it's empty right now, and that's all that matters. The empty laundry basket! I'm so happy. So we're driving around in my old hometown where I grew up. And do you see this apartment right, right there? That used to actually be our old house. That window was the kitchen. And me and my brother used to try to find as much change as possible and sneak over here to that coke machine <laughs> and get cokes on hot sunny days but yeah that's the apartment that we moved into when we first moved from knoxville to lenore city pretty cool can i help you can i help you little girl excuse me you know i got cat food i know i know all right cat <laughs> stop 